Hey everyone, welcome to today's Trade Hacker Update. Today's Tuesday, June 9th, starting with the Trade Hacker question of the day. What is the small exchange? So we actually did a web class slash interview with Tom Sosna from Tasty Trade several months ago. If you want to check that out, just go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash navigation trading and search small exchange. You'll find it. Uh, interesting stuff, but that was before the launch. So it is actually launched as of last week. And so it is now available. So what is it? Well, if you go to smallexchange.com, what you'll see here is initially on this initial rollout, there's three different symbols, three different products. There's the small stock 75. So it's a stock index tracking 75 different stocks, kind of like the S&P 500 tracks the largest 500 stocks. This is an index that tracks 75 different stocks. You've got the small US dollar. So you have a direct trading vehicle if you want to trade the dollar and then one that is a small precious metals which is you know a combination of gold silver platinum and some other some other metals so they're going to come out with the u.s 10-year treasury as well as a global oil contract as well but those are not available yet so that's that's what it is now these are futures only so it's if you have a directional assumption you can take a position in these contracts what i'm excited about is they will eventually have options on these futures but those are not quite available yet cool thing about these uh, they're, they're trying to make everything uniform. If you've ever tried to figure out futures, and we have an entire course to break down some of the details and nuances about the different futures contracts, the cool thing about these is it's all very uniform. So every tick, which is a penny, equals a $1 move. So you either make or lose a dollar for every tick the underlying contract moves. Also, uniform expirations. All of them expire on the third Friday of the month. There's not a whole bunch of different expirations you have to worry about. And then the other thing is, if you click on see it in action on any of these, what you'll notice is the contract specs. So it kind of gives you an idea of the pricing. The, the trading hours are all 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, central time. So kind of a uniform trading hours as well. And the margin is extremely low. So if you're trading an S&P 500 future, Obviously, depending on your brokers, it can be thousands of dollars. These will be in the hundreds of dollars or, you know, even less. So cool stuff. Full disclosure, I have not traded these yet. I'm just kind of watching the price action and just kind of following along on, on what's going on, but uh, have not traded these yet. And like I said, I'm really interested more when they come out with the options on futures. But good stuff to come. And, and they don't have a timeline on the f uh, options on these yet, but We'll be interested to watch them grow and, and see how they perform. Now, if you go to your Tastyworks platform, let me bring up my Tastyworks platform, what you'll see is they actually have a watch list already pre-built in. So you get a preset under watch list and then futures uh, small exchange. It'll give you, you can see here's the three symbols. So you've got the, the small US dollar, you've got the small 75 stock index, and you've got the small precious metals. They also have the indices. Now these are not tradable, they're just an index to track price. But if you look at the small 75, for example, you can get historical data of, of how that would have performed. So that is it. Now they're, they're not available on Thinkorswim, they're not av available TD Ameritrade. They are available on interactive brokers and some other futures exchange or or futures only type brokers, but I'm sure as they become more popular, they will potentially roll out to the different brokers. I think it's just a matter of supply and demand. If customers are demanding the product, the brokers will bring it. So that's what I know so far. Uh, check that out. Good stuff coming. So let's go to our Thinkorswim platform and check out what is going on in the market. So if we look at the S&P, S&Ps were down as much as 30 today, down about 10 right now. We've got about 20 minutes left before the markets close. You can see the S&P down, Dow's down about a half percent. Russell was down almost 3%. It's down about 1% now. And the NASDAQ has been pretty flat to higher all day. NASDAQ currently up about 1%. Oil up about a percent, gold up about a percent, and bonds up a little less than 1% at this point. So some of the other stocks, let's take a look at some of our stocks that we watch. A lot of green on the screen, but uh, obviously led by technology. And then some of the others in the red, I mean, look at Boeing and some of the other 
um, travel related stocks, they are down. I mean, there's a lot of red on the screen, even though the NASDAQ is up, which obviously indicates a lot of tech is going to be up and some of the others down. So kind of a mixed bag in the market today. So what did we do? Put on another iron duck in SPY and uh, made some adjustments to our current positions, but pretty pretty light on the number of trades we did. Just watching this, uh, seeing this, this thing plays out, we still have a decent amount of short delta, meaning a little bit of a rollover in price, a little bit of down move will definitely help our positions, and not only our current positions, but allow us to put on some more. So that's kind of what we're waiting for. Hope everybody has a great evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow.